So you want to buy a new tablet. Do you have to run right out and get this new iPad 3? Not necessarily. I'm Jennifer Jolly. In today's Tech's Appeal, how to pick that perfect tablet for you. What tablet type are you? Let's dive right in with personality number one. Only the best will do. You know who you are. Your house is more like a showroom. You drive a sporty and special car and you love to be the first to have any new thing that comes out. Well, the newest iPad is the obvious choice. The Retina display makes it great to look at like HDTV. It's got vibrant color, pictures, and video so crisp, clear, and bright. Battery life is better and it's 4G fast. Oh, it's got hundreds of thousands of apps and Consumer Reports recently ranked it number one. What's not to love? Well, the price tag for starters. The bare bones model of the newest iPad runs about 500 bucks. That's expensive, which leads us right into personality type two, the penny pincher. You don't want to pay for bells and whistles that you don't need. You just want to surf the web, email, watch movies, and read. So the Amazon Kindle Fire is the perfect choice for you. At $200, this low-cost, high-quality hybrid e-reader is a great buy. Another great choice for bargain hunters, especially if you already have an Android phone, is this Lenovo IdeaPad A1. It's lightweight and affordable and has a great offline GPS navigation app so you never get lost again. One of the other things I love about the Lenovo, it's one of the only tablets that comes in different colors, like pink. Gotta love that. Now one of my favorite, all-time favorite iPad alternatives is this new Sony Tablet S. This is the perfect tablet for the entertainer. If you love to watch movies, stream music, or do karaoke with your friends, the Sony Tablet S lets you send video straight to your TV with a simple tap. It also doubles as a universal remote control. It's got a 9.4 inch screen, eight hours of battery life, and this totally cool wedge-shaped build. If you're personality type five, cool and cutting edge, nothing beats this brand new Sony Tablet P. It looks like a woman's clutch purse you open it up, it has dual screens. So you can surf the web and do emails at the same time. You can read eBooks in a more traditional two-page book format or easily sort photos. It's just so cool. And if size matters, this is so small and compact, it slips, well, right into your back pocket or your purse or your backpack. Super cool. For those of you who are just plain anti-iPad, and there's a lot of you out there, this Toshiba Thrive has a whole lot of things the iPad does not. Like a full USB port, full SD card, memory expansion, and a full HDMI port. What does all of that mean? Well, if you don't know, you probably don't need it, but it is a fantastic iPad alternative. One final alternative to the iPad 3, a new or refurbished iPad 2. You can get one like this in the $300 range, and unless you have it sitting side by side with the newest one, it's pretty hard to tell the difference. Unless, of course, you're already a tech wizard, and in that case, you're gonna have this anyway. You can read more about all of these tablets on Tekka.com. For Tekka TV, I'm Jennifer Jolly, and this is Tech's Appeal.